It's no secret that the world has changed drastically in the last couple of years, leading more people to opt for outdoor experiences, especially during spring and summer months. What if we told you there was a way to host a movie night outside? This is where portable projectors come in handy. Portable projectors are not only perfect for a backyard movie screening, giving you the opportunity to have a large home cinema projector experience whenever you want, but also for students who want a big screen entertainment in their dormitory, and for people who travel for business and need to make presentations in various locations. We have listed the top 5 portable projectors and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Yeber V2 Wi-Fi Mini Projector Many portable projectors come with a high price tag, but the Yeber V2 projector is perfect for those who want excellent quality on a budget. It includes full-screen 1080p and up to 200 inches of projection, twice the range of some more expensive alternatives. You also get built-in dual-series speakers which are essential for any viewing experience. The Yeber's Wi-Fi capabilities make it easy to connect to both iOS and Android devices for mirroring movies, videos, photos, and games. It can also connect to devices including a TV box, a Fire Stick TV, a Chromecast, a PC, a laptop, a tablet, and more. One of the few trade-offs that we see with this projector is that certain streaming services like Netflix and Prime Video cannot be broadcasted through your mobile device apps. Though priced significantly lower than traditional portable projectors, the Yeber V2 promises a satisfactory entertainment experience. Number 4. ViewSonic M1 Plus Mini projectors don't get much more convenience than the ViewSonic M1 Plus. It's tiny and only weighs as much as four phones stacked in a pile, and it does come with Wi-Fi, a microSD card slot, plus USB Type-A and USB Type-C connectors. The stand makes projecting an image from a slanted surface or onto angled walls a cinch. Its speaker is the real surprise though. While it sounds harsh and brash at maximum volume, the dual Harman Kardon speakers deliver enough volume for a movie night if you'd keep things sensible. The sound may be only that of a mediocre budget Bluetooth speaker, but it's much better than that of most pine-sized projectors. Image quality is mixed and not up to a traditional standards of TVs and projectors. That's hardly surprising as resolution is very low at 854 by 480 pixels. Text looks terrible, but we're pleasantly surprised by how invisible the pixel structure is even when projecting at 100 inches. Faces look smooth rather than blocky, although naturally there's limited fine detail. This is a DVD quality projector, not an HD one. The ViewSonic M1 Plus's focusing is fiddly too. It has a filmsy wheel, and the M1 Plus tends to change focus slightly as soon as you take your finger off the control. Getting a perfectly in-focus picture requires some finger gymnastics. And no surprise here, the ViewSonic M1 Plus needs a fairly dark room to achieve an acceptable image. No one likes to be bowled over by this projector. But it is compact, relatively affordable, sounds reasonable, has a 3-hour battery life, and does a fair job displaying SD-quality movies. If that's all you require, it does the job. Number 3. Kodak Luma 350 the Kodak Luma 350 Portable Smart Projector, the flagship of the company's Luma line of palm-top projectors, is brighter than the Kodak Luma 150 unit. But what really sets it apart from the Luma 150 and the Luma 75 is its integration of the Android 6 operating system, letting you install and run Android apps. It projects a reasonably large usable image for its brightness, is fine for casual movie viewing, and does well at projecting photos. An LED-based projector that uses Texas Instruments DLP technology, the Luma 350 has a rated brightness of 200 ANSI lumens and a claimed 3500 by 1 contrast ratio. It's 854 by 480 pixels, aka FWVGA or 480p resolution, common among mini projectors, works out to a 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio. As is typical of LED-based projectors, the light source has a very long rated lifetime, 30,000 hours, which should more than outlast the life of the projector itself. White with gold rim, the Luma 350 has a simple but handsome design. It measures 1 by 1 by 4.4 by 4.4 inches, including the 4 tiny feet it rests on, which adds maybe an eighth of an inch to its height, and it just fits into my outstretched palm. It is highly portable, weighing just 12 ounces. When you press the power button, on the right side, when viewed from the back, the circle becomes illuminated, revealing itself as the central virtual button of a touch-sensitive 4-way controller. The lighting goes out in about 5 seconds if you take no action but it reappears when you press the center of the circle. That controller is duplicated on a thin white remote, which adds power, home, return, volume control, menu, and mouse buttons. The remote requires two AAA batteries. In back, there is an audio jack, a USB Type-A port that fits a thumb drive, an HDMI port, and a jack for the included Volvard power supply, along with a hole for a pin or paper clip should you need to reset the projector. On the left side behind the lens is a vertically oriented focus wheel that smoothly brought the projector to a fine focus. 
on the bottom of the projector, along with the feet of a grill for the built-in 3W speaker, is a threaded hole for a tripod. Unlike the Kodak Luma 150, the Luma 350 has Android 6.0 built into it. It's not the first Android-based projector that has come through the PC labs, but it's one of the best implementations seen, which runs the Android TV OS. Number 2. Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 The Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 Smart Streaming Laser Projector is a more refined version of the Epson EF100. It has a higher resolution at 1080p and lower brightness at 1000 lumens. Both are smaller than typical for a laser projector, both are designed for streaming, and neither support 3D. But the EF12 offer integrated Android TV instead of a bundle dongle, adds support for 4K USD input down converting, and adds HDR support for both HDR10 and HLG. Color accuracy is excellent, and the stereo speakers are impressive for the size. Overall, the Epic Vision Mini EF12 has a polished feel. One of the advantages lasers have over lamps is that most are meant to last the life of the projector, eliminating the cost of replacement lamps. The EF12's light source is rated at 20,000 hours of projecting at full power. It's paired with a 3-chip LCD design which ensures that you won't see any rainbow artifacts and that color images will be as bright as you would expect from the lumen rating, which isn't always true for single-chip projectors. You can easily move it from room to room or install it permanently including in a wall ceiling mount. The first time you turn the projector on, you'll have to run through a setup routine, with instructions projected on the screen. By default, the setup assumes you'll want to connect by Wi-Fi. The EF12's focus on Android TV and streaming and its intended use as a smart device also show in buttons on the remote, with one for YouTube and one for bringing up app screen, and one for giving voice commands using Google Assistant. It also supports Chromecast for connections to computer and mobile devices. The audio features are another strong point. The dual 5W stereo Yamaha speakers and audio processing options deliver enough volume to fill a large family room along with surprisingly good sound quality for a, such a small projector. If you prefer to use an external audio system, you can connect it using the 3.5mm audio output, HDMI ARC, or Bluetooth. There's even a setting to correct for loss of sync between video and sound when using Bluetooth or ARC. Number 1. Anchor Nebula Capsule while Anchor Nebula Capsule doesn't have 1080p resolution like many other portable projectors on the market, it's still a customer favorite for good reasons. Thanks to cylindrical design, the device is smooth on the edges, generates a 360-degree audio experience, and projects up to 100 inches. The Anchor Nebula Capsule has compatibility with HDMI and USB devices for connectivity with laptops, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, and others. The feature that really stands out is the built-in Android operating system, allowing you to download right from the projector your favorite streaming and media apps like YouTube and Netflix. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.